Well, good morning. This morning we read from Ecclesiastes chapters 7, 8 and 9. And here we see the continuation of this theme that life seems pointless um, because all lives end in death. And a wise person, he said, uh, realises that. A wise person says it's better to go to the house of mourning because there is a destiny for everyone, which is death. And so we should keep in mind that we won't live forever. He asks many questions in this passage. He, he, he realises that sometimes um, the uh, righteous perish in their righteousness and the wicked live long in their wickedness. That actually things of this world don't always bring judgment. Sometimes God will judge in this life, but sometimes it appears that the wicked get away with it. He said this is a really strange to him because later in the chapter he said, if a sentence isn't quickly carried out, then wicked schemes uh, continue to multiply. And so he, he's puzzling about God's judgment. He can't really work it out um, and, and wrestles with this theme. Sometimes we do as well. Sometimes we look around the world and we say, why do bad things happen to good people? And why do sometimes um, uh, bad things uh why do sometimes good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people? And we ask that same question. But it, as he goes on through the chapter, he says, realize that death comes to everyone. All of us one day will share the common destiny. We will stand before the judge of all the earth. So he said, enjoy your life now. Um, do your best. Uh, but remember this. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise, or wealth to the brilliant, or favour to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. In fact, you can do all of the things right, but time and chance, we are still in God's hands, and we are humbly submit before him. It's not our speed, or our strength, or our wisdom, or our brilliance that bring us success, but... Uh, God's will in our life, time and chance, happen to them all. Let's pray that the Lord brings into our lives those times and chances that help us to succeed. But he goes on and he keeps hammering home this theme that one day everyone must die. One day the time will come. Uh, everyone is going to be caught by the Lord and will have to stand before him. Life, he says, Without this is meaningless. So keep death in mind all through your life because one day you will have to give an account for the way that you've lived.